Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Money Muse. My name is Monica. This is my toddler Portland who likes to show an appearance in my videos. So I recently had a newborn. Newborn is sleeping. I named her August. Um, but I haven't been able to go out and about looking for records and hunting for records like I love and totally miss doing. So today's episode, um, I am going to share with you of why I enjoy vinyl collecting. I actually have quite a few reasons, a lot of reasons, and um, people who are close to me, friends, have um, recently asked, why do I collect vinyls? I have reasons why I'm passionate about it that might influence you to go pick up a record for the very first time, and if you do, please tell me, because that would be awesome that I influenced you. Okay, so the first reason why I really enjoy um, collecting records is discovery. Um, I never know what I'm gonna come across. If I go to a used record store, I just start browsing, and I find something that's interesting, whether I heard about it or I um, a friend recommended them. Yeah, if I'm on my way to go buy an album specifically, usually on that journey, I come across another album. The whole experience of shopping for a record, going to a record store, seeing it on the wall, seeing the artwork, touching it with your hands and looking at it, the whole experience is, um, it's fun because you don't know what you're gonna find. Um, and sometimes your decision is based on price and maybe you find a really good album for cheap or you find an album that you've been looking for for a long time but you you haven't found the right price and maybe that day the price is right for you and so you pick it up and you add it to your collection. Yeah, it's not just music being spit at you or like marketed to you but you're going out there and you're finding that diamond in the rough and that joy of finding the artist that you've been looking for forever or that album where you're like, oh yeah, I forgot, this album was great, I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> Another reason is um, the artwork. The artwork is really fun to look at. If you buy an album brand new, often when you open it up, there's full of surprises. You don't know what's gonna come. It might be a personal letter from the artist or some pictures, just like cool postcards, the whole aesthetics, sometimes a booklet. Um, as a, an old graphic designer like myself, that is really intriguing to me and it's fun to um, open it and be surprised by. You're investing in this artist and this artist becomes a part of your life. So when you're looking, maybe you fall in love with an artist and you find the album and you're listening to it, but then you hear, oh, they're gonna come up with another album. So you, you want all their music. And when you invest in that artist, they become a lifelong friend. You keep up with them because when you buy the record, you're looking at the lyrics, you're listening to them. You're not just like, it's not just passing you by. There's, you can't skip, like you put on a record and you walk away or you sit there or you lay down and you're just, you're experiencing the whole album in its fullness, the way it's intended to be. When you have your own vinyl collection, you make your own decisions and your collection is your own collection. Now this is all my music that I love and there's no collection like it. Just like if you're collecting, there's no collection like yours. If you inherited a collection, I'm sure it's telling you a ton about that person, about the type of music they've been listening to. Um, when I hear that someone collects music in person, um, I ask them what do they collect and my uncle, he collects oldies. My aunt collects old, um, gospel songs, Jimmy Swagger. <laughs> so it's just really interesting. You learn a lot about a person by what they, the type of music they collect. Next is the sound quality. Um, it feels warm, it fills up the room, it gives you an experience. I mean, even on this little record player that isn't the best of um, record players, it's more aesthetically pleasing. Uh, we have a stereo in the living room and when you put that on, it just fills the whole house up. So. Um, I've been listening to music off my phone in my car and sometimes the songs sound like my ears are plugged. I'm like, are my ears plugged? <laughs> and they're not. It's just the way it's compressed and it's going through Bluetooth. All these albums have memories connected to them or like new memories of my little girl dancing to music and uh, moving into this house. We just bought a house and um, all these great things in life can just pass us by, but when you have an album in the background that's connected and now you can always go back and, I mean, I love memories, and I love experience. And I think that brings me to my last reason why I collect records. It became a very therapeutic thing for me. Now that I'm a mom of two, um, yeah, I could 
easily lose my identity and lose myself, especially being a mom and a stay-at-home mom. When the kids are asleep, I could put on my record and just relax. What are your reasons of why do you collect records? Um, is it just for the sound? Is it just for the artwork? Is it for the community? Um, if you're thinking about collecting records, I say give it a try. See if you like it. Um, maybe you're all about the digital convenient way, but um, it's just, it's to experience music in a different way, in a tangible way. Okay everyone, here's a little newborn. Her name is August, born on August 9th. And it feels good not to be pregnant. <laughs> um, yeah, so thank you so much for those who've been watching my channel, who follow me on Instagram, I'm at Moni Muse. Um, I look forward to getting to know you and knowing your record collection as well. Um, be sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next episode.